All right, guys, welcome to workout number two. Um, we're going to be doing another full body minimal equipment workout, and I also included um, a couple bonus ones if you happen to be at the gym and want to try um, try those. So those will be included at the end. Um, so we're going to start off with some mobility as always. This first one is called an active hamstring stretch to adduction. It's actually adduction and abduction. So right now we're doing adduction. This stretch over here to the side is abduction. Um, basically what we're doing here is, I'm going to show you a different angle. So abduction is away from the midline. Um, and just try to keep that opposite hip um, onto the ground and then when you're bringing it into adduction, so adding to the midline, um, it's okay to roll over a little bit, um, but just kind of seeing how much mobility you can get there. All right, so this next one is called a bent over reach to sky. This is going to be a spinal um, mobility exercise. So with this one, you wanna keep those knees bent um, and about shoulder width apart. Um, you're going to be hinging at the hips and lowering the torso to, towards the ground. Uh, rotate as far as you can go and twist from the thoracic spine. Um, you can kind of look up if you need to as well. Okay, so this next one is called an L raise on an incline bench, or you can use a stability ball um, or like the side of your couch or something like that. So um, palms are facing the ground and you're making an L shape with your arms. Um, pull those shutter blades down, squeeze, squeeze at the top with your hands, um, and then hold for about two seconds and come back down, kind of like you're um, holding a loaf of bread or something like that when you come back down. All right, so next we're going to get into an exercise called the groiner. I know it's an interesting name. I didn't come up with it. Um, the idea here is that you're going to, um, when you jump forward, you want to come on the outside of your hands and back and um, this exercise is great because it, it engages your core, uh, your lower abs, shoulders, glutes, quads, calves, triceps, it's a full body. Um, if you want to advance the movement you can do it just like this and kind of go every other um, back and forth, back and forth um, and this is a great lower body mobility and activation. Um, all right, so this is the walking high knees. We do this already in our warm-ups. Um, basically, this is going to um, kind of get your hips moving and glutes and hamstrings. Um, so bring your knee up as high as you can in your range and then just keep repeating. Obviously, if you want to advance the movement, you can kind of add the, the running part into it, but just make sure that you're landing on the ball of your foot. All right, so this next exercise is one that we already know, um, but it's called the clamshell. It's great for hip uh, external rotation. Um, it's gonna strengthen the core, the lower back, um, help stabilize that pelvis, and um, just overall strengthening the hips and the gluteus medius, which is the muscle you're hitting on the outside. Um, so keep those hip bones stacked. Um, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can add in a resistance band, and that's always fun. All right, rolling on to the next one. This is called a mountain climber. Um, it's going to hit your core, abs, um, obliques, chest, shoulders, triceps to stabilize. Um, and you can do this a couple ways. You can do this walking just like this, um, or you can add the cardiovascular part in and move a little faster. Basically, you're driving that knee to your elbow, making sure you keep the, uh, your shoulders over your wrists. We're moving right into a squat. This is something we do already as well. So keeping a couple things familiar for you guys, but um, basically with the squat, you're hitting quads, hamstrings, glutes, um, your spinal erectors as stabilizers, the transverse abdominis, which is part of your abs. Um, so try to keep those feet hip width apart. We're gonna go right into a squat thruster. Again, this is gonna be pretty similar to a burpee. It's kind of a modified burpee, so you're just gonna come back Jump back up to your feet and come up, squat, down and back. Uh, if you want to make this a little more challenging, you can also throw in a jump at the end. So back and then come forward to your hands, jump up and then 
repeat um, for the number of times that I have on the screen. It's a really great full body exercise here. You're gonna be tired at the end of this one, but you're waking up that nervous system. All right, so another one we already do, but if you wanna make it a little more challenging, throw in a resistance band if you're at a gym or you have one at home. Um, so these are the side to side walks. You're hitting the outside of your glutes, so the gluteus medius and minimus. So your adductors and your abductors. Um, so try to stay pretty low here. Um, kind of like you're sitting in a chair. All right, so this next exercise, we're moving into strength now. Um, I didn't use a weight here, but you should use a weight. <laughs> um, this is a lateral step up. Um, you're gonna be hitting your quads and also your glutes and a little bit of your hamstrings as well. Um, so this is known, this is known as a knee dominant exercise. So you're really using that knee joint but you can also engage your hips by kind of sitting when you're coming up. You're kind of hinging at the hips a little bit there. Um, and also your core is engaged um, to keep you from kind of falling off the side of the bench there. All right, so this next one is called a walking lunge. Again, um, more of a knee dominant exercise. So you're gonna be hitting your quads, um, but you're also extending the hips as well. So this is gonna hit glutes and hamstrings. Um, the lunge provides a greater range of motion and it adds to, to hip stability. So again, just like in the last video, you wanna make sure that knee doesn't come too far over that second toe. All right, so this next exercise is a dumbbell bent over row. This is gonna hit your entire back. Um, so your lats, your mid traps, your rhomboids, and also your biceps. Um, and then the spinal erectors, which are the little muscles around your spine, um, this can be done, you can do this on a bench with one hand, or you can do it just like I showed you, um, bent over, hinging at the hips. Alright guys, so this next exercise is called a single arm overhead press. And I usually use a bench here, um, you can do this standing, but if you have any kind of low back pain, or back pain at all, just go ahead and grab the bench because you can kind of rest your back on the bench. So with this you want to extend all the way up, don't lock up the elbow, and then just bring it back down. Um, basically with this one you're hitting your shoulder as well as your triceps. Um, so this is a really good exercise, sorry for the poor lighting and weird angle here, but just showing you guys what this looks like from the front as well. Alright, so this next exercise is a push-up, and I still use my knees, guys, so if you need to use your knees, do not worry about that at all. I'm not concerned about having the correct form here. Um, you can do this at a wider, you can you know, put your arms out wider if you need to. It's going to hit more of your chest that way, but um, this is a great exercise because you're going to hit your chest, your triceps, your deltoids, or your shoulder. Um, and also the spinal erector, which is those little muscles that protect your spine and your core as well. So great exercise here. All right, so this next exercise is called a lat pull down. Um, and I grab the wide bar. You can do this a couple of different ways, but this is just the wide, the wide bar here. So you're going to bring that bar all the way down to your collarbone. Actually, pull it down a little further there. Um, so to your chest, you don't want to pull it too much farther down than that. It's okay to do a little bit of a lean back. Um, you just don't want to swing that. Um, you're not really going to be getting hitting the right muscles by doing that. Um, so this is just a different angle here. Um, yeah, so this is a great exercise for your lats, strengthening that back. Okay, just one more exercise guys. This last one is called a low cable row. It's gonna hit a lot of your back muscles, so your lats, your rhomboids, your traps, um, your biceps, and also your core slash spinal erectors. Um, so keep that back neutral and chest up. Try not to round those shoulders too much. Um, and then just pull back. And that's the end of the workout. Congratulations guys, you did another one.